All right, happy to be catching up. My man, the former super middleweight champion of the world, still one of the best super middleweights in the sport, my man, Caleb Plant. What's going yeah, on, Caleb? Came... Man, just come through, uh, you know, media workout. Jordan's working it, so come through, support her, and, you know, see what's going on. I was about to ask, what, what fight did you come down there, show some support, but it's, it's wifey. It's wifey working. Wifey working, doing her thing. So, you know, she's a big supporter of mine. I'm a big sport of her, so. You, you help her uh, prepare for her gig the way she, she helps you prepare for your fights uh, sometimes? Uh, yeah, we, you know, we go over questions and stuff. Yeah, and, you know, she's someone who always wants to put a fighter in the right light. You know, she's going to be honest about her job, but at the same time, you know, she's never trying to tear down fighters or she wants to make sure she's asking the, the right questions in the right way, you know, so. I uh, commend her for that. Well, now I'm, you know, because I do, I do what Jordan does, so I've kind of want to get some of the games she got from you. What, yeah. what do you tell her when it comes to, you know, I want to, I want to, cha you know, maybe challenge them here, ask this tough question, but I want them to know I respect them too. Well, I never really like give her the idea off the bat. She comes to me with, you know, everything in order, and you know, she'll ask me, and you know, here and there, I may give her some suggestions, but for the most part, it's already, she's already got it locked in, and. You know, the verbiage is perfect. And so, because um, she's around, you know, she knows what it's like to be at least with a fighter and be around fighting. So she, she wants to go about it the right way. She does a great job. I don't I don't have to give her too many, uh, you know, tips or pointers or corrections or nothing. But right, she's pretty good when you met her at, at it already, right? Yeah. right. But uh, just talking boxing for a minute, man. Um, what, what, what do you want out of 2024? Um, out of 2024, just more big fights. You know, been a minute since I've been in the ring, so probably be a uh, tune-up uh, coming back sometime in the summer, and you know, then we'll we'll take it from there. And then a, a big name for the part two of the year. Yeah, why not? Who, who are you thinking? Who, who's a big name that makes sense? I mean, I think the Charlo fight makes the most sense. You know, I know everybody else wants to see that, and that's a big fight for boxing. So, you know. If it's going to push the culture forward and push boxing forward and, you know, something that excites me, then I want to be a part of it. It's a good fight that's already got the build up from what happened at the the other Charlo fight with Canelo last year. You guys got into it. Um, but what if Charlo, who, who's had some problems out the ring, he can't really uh, make it to, to a, a big, big fight like that? Like, he's just not in the right. Then, then what makes sense then? I mean, we'll, we'll have to see, you know, like. I have my goals that I'm focused on, and until those don't come to fruition, you know, I don't plan on changing my sights, you know. Um, there's other big fighters out there, though, so I'm sure we'll be able to make something happen. I'll be able to make something happen if, uh, you know, that doesn't come to fruition, but that's what I want. I, and I'm not saying that because I have any word from his team or his side about, um, you know, making a fight. I haven't gotten anything. That's the fight that I wanted coming back, but you know I'm not gonna wait around for him either. So, how did he look against ben Jose Benavides? What do you think, Sean? How do you think he looked? Not not like 100% Jamal Charlo, but you know still a, a, a pretty pretty decent fighter. Yeah. You know, yeah. But not 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 peak Jamal Charlo. But. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, about the same how I feel. He looked decent. So, what do you think of uh, the David Morrell fight? Uh, the David Morrell fight, I mean, that's a big fight. You know, he hasn't had uh, a whole lot of outings. Um, but, you know, that's another big fight that, you know, I'm sure boxing would love too, so. Is that, you envision that being a thing where it's like, if you want to get the Canelo rematch, the Benavides rematch, that might be a guy you got to get through to get them. Yeah, I mean, um, could be. So, in the meantime, you know, I, I, I know my plans and what I'm looking to do. And um, if I get a tune-up, if the Jamal fight happens after that, you know, I'm sure the, the gates will be wide open on on any big fight. So I just want to. Or could we just step outside? Yeah. No, no, no. Please.